I read the label one day. I'm going home and I looked at, it was Premier Protein and I, I would love to pull it up here, but I mean, it has like 40 ingredients. And it's funny because if you read Premier Protein on the front, it'll say, you know, only 90 calories, zero grams of added sugar, non-GMO, all these kind of seal of approvals that condition us to believe that we're eating something healthy. And so as I'm walking home from my workout, I looked at this bottle and I, my heart sunk. Um, it felt like gray clouds came over me and I felt as if I was lied to. I felt like the food industry at this point was against me. Why am I going work out? Why am I drinking this after to refuel? Um, and why am I still suffering from all these things? So I immediately dropped my bag. I remember I ran up the stairs into my kitchen, opened the refrigerator frantically. I start reading my salad dressings, my coffee creamer, um, all of my condiments, my barbecue sauce, my ketchup. And I start realizing a lot of these ingredients I don't recognize. These ingredients that are hard to pronounce are literally everywhere. It's repetitive in everything. So then I go through my pantry and I see, you know, my crackers and my snacks and my beef jerky and my skinny pop and all these things. I start saying, what, what's happening? So I set out on this wake up mission when I was strolling with my baby through the aisle. I was on a mission to find a clean protein. It took me many years. It took me a lot of traveling, right? I'm traveling through the grocery stores. I'm frustrated. I'm also trying things that look simple, but still don't make me feel great. Um, I can tell you that it's taken five, six, seven years to figure out the clean protein, cookies, crackers, condiments, milks. I mean, every single food group. But once I did figure it out, my menu used to be restricted and now my menu has expanded. And when that happened, got off of reflux, no more asthma. My body changed. I mean, super quick. The inflammation went away. My endurance in my classes got really, really good. In fact, I went up to the owner and said, Hey, look, I want to try, I want to try out to be a spin instructor. 